Previously on Game of Thrones. Yay. Go on then, Talia. I've got a good sister. I've got two good sisters, I would imagine. But... Everyone will be so glad to see you up. I doubt Though, it. I think you'll find that much has changed. Yeah, Dad's dead. Ethan's dead. Asher still isn't here. Uncle's gone. And now, we're screwed. <laughs> oh, the wall! Oh, that, that cracked my voice again. I need to not be excited. Mm, the wall! Oh, Jared, that was it. That was his name. Oh, and then Tuttle. I wanted to look at the wall, but it won't let me. What? Not... What? Yeah, there we go. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Nah, it doesn't matter. That's Castle right. Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Yeah. Recruits at the gate! Hello. For Frostfinger. Oh. On a horse, no less. No point. Hello. Oh. I can see I'm not going to make friends here, am I? Uh, Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? Probably You're new, like here giants. to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Um, yeah. Hi, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Hello. What's your name? Frostfinger. He's the one you want. Handles okay. all new recruits. Uh, Which one's Frostfinger? Uh, that grizzled old prune over there. Is it? Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Frostfinger? Oh. Okay. I thought that you were Jon Snow because you've got black hair and a beard. Ah. Fine. So who's Frostfinger then? Is he in? Is he in the TV series? Oh, he doesn't have any fingers. Lovely. Hello, sir. How are you? <coughs> you recruits. You come. You train. You fight. You die. Lovely. Who are you, boy? I'm a pig farmer. Um, Gary Gar Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace I cold? killed two men. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. No. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. Oh. As if it's a knighthood. Oh. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. Oh. You are a killer. Yeah. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, 
will start your training in the morning. For today, okay. you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Yeah. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. I know. When it comes, try to make it quick. <sighs> okay. Last we'd heard, Asha was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread! Ugh, there's fucking worms in it. The Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die the Whitehill soldiers always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Okay then. Go on, then. You know Let's what else? Go. No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. Bullshit. He goes locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. Um, he has no fucking right. Yes, he does. I don't know who any of Is those that people him? are, but hello. Has to be, doesn't it? Fuck you. He's hideous. Fuck you. He's a bloody cripple. And he's leaning on a girl. Had a run in with buried him with the corpses. Forresters are cursed. Mm. But who gives a toss? Real Don't shame about your, your legs, sister Lord. now. What a disgrace to his house. I'm going to kill each and every one of you. Oh. Hello, sir. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Don't test me. You don't want to test me. Is that right? Because you look pretty sad to me. I wonder what's weaker, your legs, or this house? I'm gonna fucking kill you. Move! Now! Go on then, my lord. Yeah, fuck you. <sighs> Let's go. It's madness. You can't starve I them will out. Not Puddle our enemies. So you'd rather they you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolish. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. Let's get to I told business. you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Okay. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. 
He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies. You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool. My lords, please. Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay... Sir no. Ryland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Fucking Nothing. shut up. Because we have no bloody army. It's... I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The Whitehills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Then get me a fucking army. Then find me one, Sir Ryland. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed. And our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Fuck Lady you. Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? <laughs> She's coming now! He's my barely betrothed. recovered. My betrothed is coming to Ironrath. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Her I army keep would become my mic, I'm annoyed. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground. Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Okay. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Shh, shh, Talking shh, about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. You have a point. Talia oh, does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. Oh, lack of confidence. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome um, dispute. Um... Stop. Let them out. go hungry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Oh... Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're doing great. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but... Maybe your sister can find a way to help. Ah, uh, we need to stop bothering with Mira. Bothering, if we bother her, then... Ah, uh, the Queen will be upset. Or the Queen to be. And the Queen. Oh. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell Ooh. them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Um, a large we donation. will make a sizable donation in the name of King Joffrey. A little presumptuous of you, Mira. But I like it. They'll be yeah. very grateful. <laughs> Ah, 
and the seal. Here you are. Oh. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Oh, someone at the door. Need to go and enter it. I have a letter for Lady Mira Come Forrester. Again. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. I don't know who you are. What is it, Mira? There's a dirty boy from that my came mother. and gave me a message. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Uh, ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? Yeah. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such she things. She means no. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. Uh... That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. Hmm. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Interesting. Okay, okay. Hmm. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... <gasps> oh! Do it! Dear Lady Elena... No. Dearest Lady Elena... She took the seal with her. Oh. Hopefully a signature will do. No, shit. Oh, bollocks. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Elena of House Glenmore. I've never heard of the Glenmores. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. I think I made a mistake. If you don't mind. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with I've those? I've got them. Oh. Hey, Mr. Frostfinger. Oi, fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. Really? So move. Find another spot. Find another spot. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall no. was erected over 8,000 years ago. I to don't defend the care. Realm from no. Wildlings, and I don't care. You should. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. There are 19 castles stationed along the wall. 
I'll stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. What? Potatoes? <laughs> you fuck potatoes. <laughs> no! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi. My sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Don't uh, fucking talk about my sister, all right? Um, I've got something for you, too. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle! Who was it? Um. <sighs> These men were arguing. These two were arguing. <laughs> Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. Oh. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. Okay. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Oh. Can you swing a sword? Probably not. Shoot a bow? Definitely not. Are you strong? Mm, Those who do well might just survive. The uh, rest of you. Frostfinger. <gasps> I need a word. <gasps> hey! Go on, get hey. started. I got excited again and my voice is gone. Yay! <laughs> Best of luck, Tuttle. Uh... Oh, nothing, John Snow. Here we go. Ooh. Again. Who's up? See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains hey, for then. breakfast. So, what am I to do? Just look at it. Castle Black. Demonstrate your combat skills. So this is home now. Okay, I can demonstrate my combat skills. Guys, oh, can I have a horse? Um, horse. Okay, horse. How are you doing? No, oh, it's a nice horse. Can I talk to you? I cannot talk to you. I am confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh! You're doing that all wrong. Oh. Don't have these where I. Man's ready to shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Oh. And pull it harder than that. Uh, with the Y. Load it. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's see if you can aim worth the wildling's arse. Probably not. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Okay. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Right. Oh, right. Okay. Um. Shit. Huh? You can follow orders at least. Yeah. Next bolt. Left target, head. Left target, head. Uh, that. There we go. Good. Right target, chest. Right target, chest. Uh, that. Nice. Not bad. Easy. Center, between the eyes. Between the eyes. Uh, down. Down there. Yo, nice. One less wildling. Good. You hit all of them. Nicely oh. done. Awesome. Ah. So. Oh. Oh, he's 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 gone. John Snow's gone. <laughs> he shot himself in the foot. 
Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. <laughs> Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, alright? Okay. I don't think he'd take it kindly. Uh, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. Hmm. Okay, so have I done my combat thing now? Logs. What's the logs do? Let's look at the logs. We slowly dead? walk around the mannequins. Yep. Logs! It's not iron wood. Too hard to burn. Oh. Uh, the wall. They say it's 700 feet tall. Wow. And 8,000 years old. 8,000 years. That is a long time. That is a long time. Um. Oh, elevator. I wonder when I'll get to go up there. Uh, I wouldn't want to. Okay, so oh wait. Uh, uh, uh. This use. There we go. Oh, it's difficult to use these controls. Take that! Oh. Take that! Oh, oh, oh. You bloody top! You grab a practice sword. Oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. I would like. Red hat. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Okay. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Okay. Good luck. Um. Oh, eight. Oh, that's okay. Ah. Come on, keep at it. Okay. I'm doing my best. I like red handles. The text. And I be. Oh fuck! Damn it! You're dead. I messed up. Get off me, you bloody ox! Like old Frosty said, not everyone's cut out for this. Damn it! Fuck. I messed up. I messed up. Stop gawking, Tuckle. Oh. Um. Let's go up here. Or is this actually no? Is this the? So, I bet there's something else I need to do. Like jump to a cutscene. Oh, what's this bit? It's a blazer. Oh, it's bloody cold up here. Yeah, it probably will be. The up north, brother. Oh, I said brother. I need to stop with the Yorkshire accents. Lift the barrels. Aha! That was you the then. other one. Recruit. Okay. Scrawny, oh, aren't you? Mm, See yeah. if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. Okay. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Oh. Right. I can do this. Holy shit. <sighs> Want <heavy>. some help? <laughs> oh. Uh, come on. Where are we going? To the witch. Um, this way? You need to move, Mr. Tuttle. That's it. In a straight line. 
Oh. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, quick time event, no, no! Thank you. Don't hurt yourself, Tom. Fuck you. That's it, I'm gonna fuck you up. Yay. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing isn't frozen off. Fuck off. Fuck off, Phil. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Carrot. You've had a sore You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? <laughs> if someone has it, <laughs> I'll cut their fucking balls off. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking <laughs> thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out okay. of my way. Oh. Got it. Do something. Um, don't move. I fucking warned you. Ow. I won't say it again. Now I punch him. Fuck. Up. And hit him. Yeah. Oh. Hey, look. No. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it. Here they go again. Um, okay, okay. It's X! Damn it. Fuck. And B. There we go. Hey. Damn it, for get fuck's off. sake! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> oh. And you? No, he's I planted it on better, me. Tuttle. Shit. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Finn. Sir, I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Bollocks. Crossfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Thank you, Johnson. Get off! <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. Okay, Mr. Snow. Lord Snow, I should say. He's a lord. Apart from he's not really a lord, because he gave it all up. <laughs> he just had it in his hand. Love it.